everyone, it's Michael. So I have a problem for you today from the 2017 IMO. So it was number four on the exam. Um, so the easiest of the second day's problems. Um, so if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right. So we have R and S are two different points on a circle omega. Um, so that RS is in a diameter. And then L is a line tangent to uh, omega at R. Um, and J, uh, or first T is, is a point so that um, S is the midpoint of RT. And J is pretty much any point on the smaller arc RS. Um, but there's one condition they give. So you draw the circumcircle of uh, JST. Um, and you see where it meets line L. It has to meet the line L in two points, and the one closer to point R we call point A. Um, and then we draw the line AJ, and it meets the initial circle um, omega at point K. And we want to show that KT is tangent to gamma. So gamma is this bigger circumcircle of uh, the triangle JST. So this problem is kind of interesting. Um, so my solution won't involve constructing any more points. Um, and I'm not sure actually if I've ever done a problem on this channel where I didn't construct any more points. Maybe, maybe one or two, but, but not very many at the very least. Um, so really it just requires a lot of good visual skills and a lot of just finding similar triangles. Um, so no sort of fancy um, methodologies or theorems. If you just um, find the right similar triangles, then the problem will end up being solved eventually. Um, okay, so we want to show that the line KT is tangent to gamma. Um, first, I'm going to do a little bit of an angle chase. Um, so this configuration with two circles, um, some people might just recognize that RK has to be parallel to AT. Uh, it's not that obvious, but it's a short angle chase, so I'm going to show you it. Um, so angle KRS is equal to angle KJS. And since AJST is cyclic, KJS is the exterior of angle AJS, and so it has to equal angle ATS. So if we have KRS is equal to ATS, um, that would actually mean that AT is parallel to RK, but we don't even, for this problem, actually end up even needing to use that they're parallel. We just need that these two angles are equal. Um, so I'm going to draw segment RK. Um, so KRS is equal to angle ATS. And we want to show that KT is tangent to gamma. So what would that mean? That would mean angle KTR would have to equal angle SAT. So if we can show that KTR is SAT, that would solve the problem. But we know that KRS is ATS. So that would actually be equivalent to showing that triangle KRT is similar to triangle ATS. Um, and we can try to do that using ratios, sort of. So since angle uh, KRS is ATS, if we can show that the sides surrounding those two angles are in the same ratio, that would mean those triangles would be similar. Um, so that's what we want to do. We ultimately want to show that um, AT over AS um, is equal to KR um, over RS. Did I get that right? Um, I'm sorry, it should be KR over RT. Um, so uh, AT over TS is, is, is RT over RK. Not sure if I said that right the first time. Um, but we can actually do that using a different pair of similar triangles. So I kind of backed into this, but I'm going to write out my work here. Um, so first of all, we have to use the fact that L is tangent to omega at point R. So if that's true, then that means that angle RKS 
is equal to angle ARS. So we know that. Um, so this is going to be the first of two, um, actually really the second of two angles in the similar triangle. So if angle KRS is equal to angle ATS and angle RKS is equal to angle ARS, then that means triangle ART has to be similar to triangle um, SKT. So I'm going to write that out. So triangle KRS is similar to triangle ATR. And now we can uh, use ratios. So, but ultimately we're, we're gonna wanna use the ratios to show that the other pair of similar triangles that I mentioned before are similar. So we're working forwards and backwards here. Um, but if these two triangles are similar, then that means AT over RT. Um, so that those are the, the ratios of the, um, of two sides of triangle ATR has to equal RS over RK, okay? Um, and here's where we use the fact that S is the midpoint of RT. So if that's true, then RS has to equal ST. And so this has to equal ST over RK. So we have AT over RT is, is ST over RK. Um, but if you look very closely now, um, this, now that we changed RT to be ST instead, it shows that a different pair of triangles is similar, the same equality essentially, because AT, um, because now if you look at AT and ST, those are two sides in the triangle ATS. And if you look at RT and RK, those are two sides in the triangle RTK. And, and those two sides, those two pairs of sides both surround equal angles because we said angle KRS is equal to angle ATS. And so that means that uh, triangle AST has to be similar to triangle RKT. So this requires like a lot of sort of visual skills, just um, being able to see the right angles and the right ratios. But once you see it, you actually don't have to construct any extra points to solve the problem. Um, so in that way, it's kind of the, one of the shorter solutions um, that I posted. It's just visually challenging. Um, so if triangle AST is similar to triangle RKT, those are the two triangles that I mentioned in the beginning we wanted to show are similar. And essentially we're there, because if that's true, um, then that means angle KTR has to equal angle SAT, um, because since those two triangles are similar, um, and then that would mean that KT has to be tangent to the circle, because um, KTR is the angle between um, a line and the chord ST, and that is equal to an angle that subtends ST, which is angle SAT, and so KT has to be tangent to gamma. So yeah, not the hardest IMO problem, but like I mentioned, visually a little bit challenging. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone.